Hey, everybody, what's happening? BNB steak gave a lot of people a heart attack last night into this morning. The balance was plummeting. Everyone thought, oh, this must be the end. And then it balanced out and it started gaining a little bit again. It's kind of leveled off. Now, guys, this is normal and this is healthy in a typical market environment like if you look at bitcoin or anything else when there's a huge uptick like there was yesterday if we go to the contract here which you can access straight from the site go to analytics now you know be careful what you read into this like it's going to go up and down as this ages now you might say well but it was just going up at first it's going to go up forever well notice how it leveled off there were even some days where it kind of went down like for back here on uh, march 20th the account balance was 15,481 on the 21st, it was down to 14,978. And there was even additional fluctuations in between those days that this doesn't track. You know, and then it did go up a little bit and went up a little bit more than it went down. And then it went on this massive incline. Now, just remember that in here, when it was like leveling off and even had some down days, there were people that were saying it's over, it's done. So you got to be careful how you read this. And I was looking at that going, it looks like a consolidation period. And then it just skyrocketed. You know, and now again, there's a bit of a correction because the skyrocket was so ridiculously massive. And uh, again, let's remember, this isn't a typical market environment. Everything's going to be exaggerated, the ups, the downs, and eventually this won't last. It's not built to last. And that's why I call this gambling, but it's honest gambling. Uh, the auditors uh, who are called a haze crypto security, they have a good reputation. I'm not saying it's 100% bulletproof for sure, because uh, I didn't audit the auditors, but they do have a great reputation because there was another program called Tronstake that had claimed they had audited them. They came in and looked at their code and said, uh, no, and actually we see that this code is designed to rip people off, to pull the rug out from underneath people, to run off with everybody's crypto. There was something in the code that made the smart contract allow for that to happen. And Hayes Crypto uh, shared that in two days before it launched. And a couple of weeks later, after it had launched, people jumped into it. They got excited by Tron Stake. Lo and behold, it ran off of people's crypto. So they've done a really good job with their audit so far. There aren't any projects that they audited and said the smart contracts were airtight that that did pull the rug out on anybody. Doesn't mean that won't happen at some point, but it is interesting. It also doesn't mean though that this won't eventually collapse. It's designed to be unsustainable. And that's why I don't give my affiliate link. I did in my first couple of videos a few weeks back when I was giving a massive warning on this. But now that I'm a little bit more positive about it, because I'm actually intrigued by the project, I, you know, I've got a couple hundred BNB in it. And, uh, and I'm gambling with it. You know, I'm playing with it. It's a game on the side. I also do content like this, guys, really candid content on projects to kind of educate the market because there's a lot of people who end up in these things. They just don't have a clue, right? And so I want to share with you guys that feel like you don't have a clue what's going on. You don't understand the risk to have a better concept of what the risk, risk is without me just hyping it up. And, and uh, it, it is cool. It's a cool project. And I'll share with you why. I'll share with you what you know my thoughts are after this shot up over the last couple of days, days record-breaking highs in every way, the balance, everything. And then last night, what are my thoughts after seeing it take a nosedive? Because it was up as high as 28,000, the balance, right? And for those that don't know, this balance matters because if it hits zero, if the balance ever hit zero, there wouldn't be anything to withdraw from. And so that's what gives it security. Now that's about $6 million of BNB in there. So it's a pretty strong co contract. Now it did spike up over the last 36 hours, all the way to 28,000 BNB in the contract, which is crazy. <laughs> and, uh, and then it started plummeting really fast. And guys, part of that is because people have, they store up in their withdrawals, you know, a big balance and they don't actually withdraw it from the contract. So that will, that will be reflective in here if they didn't withdraw it yet. And then, you know, if they start to see it plummeting, they just, you know, respond out of fear and everyone all at once starts doing that. And that's how it can go to 28,000 all the way down to like 22,000 very, very quickly. And of course that can scare people, but here's why I wasn't too spooked by it in the short term, because so much, if we go to uh, b and B transfers, you can see there was a huge spike on the 27th, two days ago of uh, new B&B entering the contract. And um, 
And so I knew that most of the, and then even this, even yesterday was a, almost a record high. It was almost tied for the second record high. So the last three days, a massive amount of new BNB went into the contract. So yesterday there was 9,000 new BNB in. The day before was 15,700 new BNB in. The next, uh, the day before that was 9,000. So the last three days were mass, not just kind of record highs, the last three days were just towering over the rest. So the last three days took in a massive amount of new B and B into the contract, just mass staggeringly high. And so I knew from that that there wasn't a big concern short term, even if it would take a big nosedive, which would make sense because there's a lot of people's contracts maturing and stuff. And when they saw it skyrocketing, people that had planned to take it out were probably just letting it collect in here, like not sure what to do. Their original plans being kind of changed when they saw it just going up, up, and they probably were going to take some profits out on interest. And I think I'll just leave it in here, decide what to do. And then when it hit 28,000 and started to take a nosedive last night, naturally a bunch of people would just start taking it out because they're concerned, right? They don't know what's going on. And so that's what happened. And then now it kind of it leveled out. This is still in a strong position. That doesn't mean that it's a safe thing to gamble in. That's not what I'm saying. Nobody knows. Nobody has a crystal ball. But I just want to share with you what I'm seeing from this. And hopefully that will offer some value for those of you who are already participating or those thinking about participating. I'm not going to give my affiliate link. I'm not going to recommend people do these high risk things because I don't know you. And people get mad at me on this channel. I don't post all their comments when they get ridiculously, you know, I don't mind negative comments, but when they're overly ridiculous, uh, I don't post them. Uh, it, you know, some people are just really uh, upset by the fact that I'm participating in it, but I say I don't recommend it. They think that's somehow like a double standard of, or hypocritical of some kind. And the reality is, guys, think about it. I don't know you. If I know you and I know what your risk tolerance is and I understand, I know that you understand the risk, then yeah, that I'm going to feel differently. But if I'm just talking to people that I don't get to see or meet, I don't know what you're, you're going to make stupid decisions. I don't know what you're going to do. So I just share information with you and let you decide what you want to do. And I don't encourage or recommend anything like this. I save my recommendations for more sustainable projects that people are making a killing in. You know, I think a lot of you know that uh, my main crypto generator isn't even risk-based. It's not an investment. It's just like this duplicatable system that just churns out ETH. It's made me 850 ETH plus in the last four and a half months. It's over 8 million. And my team over 12,000 Ethereum at last count at the 90 day mark, we took the time to count it up. 12,000 ETH they made, it's insane. And we get to use that to put into exciting projects like this and more sustainable staking projects that are gonna last and pay the, through the test of time. But I like to report on stuff like this, share my thoughts about it, to give a candid review. I like to personally throw a little small percentage. I got 210 BNB in this right now. I like to put a small percentage in this, you know, so that, uh, you know, I'm kind of in touch with kind of the outer edge, the exciting projects going on that are a little crazy. This is a little crazy. You know, this is just part of the Wild West, but it's fun. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't want to encourage other people. Looks like I lost. I lost my uh, page. I don't want to encourage other people to do it who I don't know, because I don't know what kinds of decisions you're going to make, and then you're going to blame me for it. You know what I'm saying? So here's my candid review on what, what has been happening over the last few days. Shot up like crazy, absolutely insane. I still believe the momentum's upward. Could be wrong. Don't have a crystal ball. But based on the fact that this is leveled out after a 6,000 BNB drop in just a couple of like six hours or something like that. Uh, it's pretty impressive. Let's see where it is now. Let's see if it's doing any major movement right now. You know, it's, it's pretty much holding steady. Uh, this is a strong contract. I'm looking at the analysis and I'm seeing that most of the BNB in there is new BNB locked up in a 14 day, 21 day, or 28 day contract. You know, a lot of it's probably locked up in plan one, two, or three, mostly plan one, but even that isn't fully paid out until a full 14 days. So this is new money in here. So I knew that that was going to stabilize it at some point. And, you know, the moment, look at, look at how much more these last three bars, if you look at the last three bars on that graph and you compare it to all the other bars, massive amount of new BNB in the contract that can't be taken out all at once. Naturally, I'll say it again, a lot of people probably had been storing up a lot of BNB that had, they had already received, that had been paid out, but they hadn't withdrawn it yet. And that's what we saw uh, over the last six or eight hours when it dropped from 28,000 to around 22,000. 
you just saw people taking that out because they were nervous. Not everybody is sure they can trust the audit. They're thinking maybe the owners or the creators of this are going to pull the rug out when they see it's dropping. So there's a little bit of panic. And I got to say, uh, seeing the you know the the B and B in the contract drop from twenty eight thousand down to twenty two thousand and then level out and now kind of start to pick back up again really does underscore the merit of the audit because you would think if the owners of this had a plan to pull the rug out, they would have done that. You know what I mean? Instead of losing an extra 6,000 BNV, if they were planning on running off of people's crypto, I think they would have done that by now. Again, no proof, no guarantee of this. Uh, don't take what I'm saying as a reason for you to throw money into this thing. Uh, you either do it or don't based on your own analysis. This is just a should, what I'm saying should just be a small piece of your total analysis. And you shouldn't consider this a serious investment. You should consider it gambling, fun, kind of like a game. And if it is truly a smart contract, as it appears to be, where there's no people that are going to do any shenanigans, and it's just a free market kind of game that people are getting to play with these high daily returns and stuff, like, you know, you know then uh, that's a lot safer than those programs like beer acts, crypto wear, you know, and so forth, who had people that were planning, you know, basically frauding people and, and telling them a story and then, and then running off with everybody's crypto. That doesn't appear to be what this is. Now, I don't know that for hundred percent, but if they were going to do a carpet rug pull, whatever <laughs> you want to call it, they were going to run off with people's crypto. I think they would have done it last night when they started seeing 6,000 BNB getting taken out over the course of about six hours. It appears to have leveled out this is a healthy indication, in fact, that the momentum upwards is going to continue for some time. It's no guarantee that that's going to happen, but uh, I'm feeling pretty solid, pretty strong about uh, this contract uh, for the short term. This is not designed to last forever. These percentages, for those that don't know, tick up by a half a percent a day. So as the days go on, this is going to be pretty soon, in about a, you know, five days or whatever, going to be at like 25%. And then it's going to go to 26%, 27% per day. And, you know, it appears to be 100% legit the way the smart contract is written without people interfering. And if that's the case, uh, you know, it's just going to play out like a game. And, you know, people are going to continue to want to throw money that they're making back into it. By the way, that 6,000 BNB that people pulled out of here last night, you know, very likely a lot of that's going to enter back in. And so, you know, as long as there's money in the contract, as long as this thing stabilizes like it did uh, and levels off, that's, you know, in the, in the typical market economy, that's a, that's a good sign. That's a healthy sign. And I think that still applies here. Uh, when we see it level off like that, like it builds a lot of confidence. Uh, and then the momentum starts to build again. And you want to get in front of that if you're going to do it. You don't want to always be the Johnny come lately. You don't want to wait for this to get up to 50,000 and then you get in. You know what I mean? And that's what a lot of people do. So again, I'm not recommending you do it at all because I don't know you and I don't know what your risk tolerance is and I don't know what your deductive reasoning skills are and I don't know if you're going to go mortgage the house or do something stupid. So I would just rather personally not make a recommendation at all uh, and just let you know what I'm seeing, what I'm reading from this and hopefully that provides some value to you. I am personally excited about it as a game, as a game. This is not a serious business project for me. It's a game that I'm playing, having fun with, seeing smart contracts evolve, seeing organizations like Hayes Crypto set up auditing organizations for these, seeing if they end up being an in integrity or not. And so far, that's playing out to be true. The whole thing is fascinating to me. Seeing millionaires being created, and many will be from this project in a short time is interesting. It's fascinating. And seeing the industry involved, the technology evolve. Uh, out of all of this, which will be put into sustainable longer term projects. It's very educational and informing for me. And, uh, and I use what I learn and I put that into you know, my, my serious investments into sustainable projects that pay high yields, not this high, but high yields over the long run. And that's where the really big money can be. And by the way, if you're interested in how my team and I continue to make Ethereum without investment, without risk, with a duplicatable system that's been working since October like clockwork, that gives us the Ethereum to use to put into projects that we want to play around with like this or into you know, more su uh, sustainable series projects as well and altcoins, uh, let, let me know. Uh, click the link below, reach out to me, give me lots of time to follow up with you. I got hundreds of people reaching out to me and I have to start training my team to connect on my behalf to show you everything. But uh, so far, I'm still the one reaching out. So just give me time to do that.
uh, cause I've got hundreds of people reaching out to me. So the link will be below for that, but I'll keep you posted on this. I'm having a blast with it. And uh, yeah, very interesting night uh, and morning for me here at Pacific time where we saw that just going down, down, down. Let's see if it's changed again. So, you know, you've seen it fluctuate a little bit. Uh, what was it over, last we went over here? So it was at 21,910. You know, sometimes people panic when they see it drop like that. It's not, it's just, as this contract gets bigger, it's going to fluctuate by hundreds and often thousands all the time. That's just the way it is. But as these, these pay out more and more. I mean, if you put, let's say, you know, 10 BNB in this, 28.7, this is just big incentive for new money to continue flowing in. Oh, that's one other thing I did want to show you. So 28.7 uh, divided by uh, 14 days. So, you know, you do plan one, that's 2.05 uh, BNB a day, right? So if you put in 10, and I divide that by 2.0, 0, 0.5 BNB. So in 4.87 days, you know, less than five days, you got your principal back. And as this continues to tick up, uh, those number of days that it takes to get your principal back get shorter and shorter. Pretty soon it'd be three days and you get your principal back. There'll be more and more people willing to enter into this contract as that ticks up because they get their principal back. So it's an interesting game. It's an interesting social experiment. And I think it still has a lot of legs in it. I could be wrong, but looking at the graph and considering human nature and just how this plays out and the number of people that just took out like 6,000 BNB in the last six hours, I think a lot of that's going to come back in when the confidence is back now that it's leveled out a little little bit. Uh, it does appear that there's some whales as well that uh, don't want it to die. And I see every time it kind of starts getting unstable, they throw a ton of BNB into it. So I think this has a lot of legs left. Um, this, this 14 day here, I mean, this is huge. Someone throws 10 BNB in this, 126 BNB in 14 days. But on this one, you don't get your, you don't get it paid out daily. So it's giving much more if you're holding that in for 14 days. Uh, this one, you get paid it out, paid out part of that every day. As I showed you, 10 BNB would pay you out a, a little over two BNB a day. So you'd have your principal back in uh, less than five days. So we'll keep an eye on it. One thing I wanted to show you is uh, if you go to, uh, let's see, where is that? If you go here, no, not balance there. Okay, so if you go here, you also going to see uh, this, this green graph here, this is under transactions. This is uh, showing the number of unique incoming addresses. This is really telling. Uh, so you see, and I'll just move my cursor out of the way, from the time this started in early March, like March 3rd or whenever it was, uh, now this is March 28th, the graph takes us to. Uh, today will be inked uh, in, a, in about five hours. We'll see what the new one is. But so far, the number of new uh, wallet addresses incoming BNB from new wallet addresses is increasing every single day. And so you're seeing new BNB coming in, more people putting BNB in uh, every day. You know, and that's a very telling graph of what's going to happen. Obviously, there's going to be profit taking. Obviously, there's going to be during these big run ups. If we look here again, uh, there, if the, these big run ups like the other day where this massive is surge of a growth, obviously then people are gonna take some of their payments, it's gonna so store up in their wallet, right? And they're probably not gonna make a move right away. And then last night when there's a little bit of uh, fear or something, everyone's gonna do a withdrawal at the same time, which just feeds that. But the fact that it survived that and kind of leveled out around here, super strong. And again, a lot of the confidence short-term, a lot of the confidence can come from seeing that most of the BNB that's in the contract is new and can't be taken out. That's one thing, there's a clone of this called FOMO stake. It's one thing I, I, I won't enter into that even as a game FOMO stake, because you can take your whole principle out if you want to. And if something like what just happened here last night happened in FOMO stake, I think it would wipe it out. Because if everyone sees it going down, uh, they're just gonna take their whole principle out. Here, you can't do that. This new BNB that's been added to this over the last three days, that had to stay in, it, it creates stability for it to level out. So I think it's gonna level out and then continue upward. Could be totally wrong. No one has a crystal ball, but that's what all these numbers and these indicators are, are suggesting, uh, short of something that we can't predict happening. So uh, guys, just wanna share this, this with you. I'm having fun with it. I do not think it's for everybody. People who can't stomach risk, people who don't have a lot of BNB to work with, 
you know, connect with us, connect with my team at the link below, ask us how we're generating Ethereum in a non-risk method so you can have extra BNB and Ethereum to play in some of these kinds of things without it being a travesty if you lose it. And that would put you in a position to be able to win at some of these things in a big way. All right, guys, have a fantastic rest of your week. I'll keep you posted.